Well, we got some breaking news. A federal judge has overturned a national ban on evictions that was put in place amid the devastation of the pandemic. The order could potentially put millions of Americans at risk of losing their place to live. So let's get the latest. Our justice correspondent, Pete Williams, is with us. So, Pete, um, this was a federal judge that put this down. What, what does this mean? Is there going to be a stay? Walk us through the, uh, uh, the order. Sure. So remember the history here. Uh, after Congress passes the CARES Act, there is a moratorium on foreclosures that are federally supported. Then uh, there's a second action by the CDC extending it to all uh, rental properties. Uh, the Congress allowed that to renew. Then the Congress authority uh, expired. And so the CDC authority that's in effect now is based solely on the CDC's own interpretation of its legal authority under public health law. And the judge said today, sorry, you don't have the authority to do this. Uh, the CDC had said this was necessary to help prevent the spread of disease, to let governors better enforce stay at home orders to keep people in their homes instead of gathering with others. But the judge said today that the law does not give the CDC the authority to do this on its own. Now, the, the government had said, well, if you're going to rule against us, limit your ruling only to the people who sued us here, which is a group of realtors and realtor associations. But the judge said, sorry, I'm, I'm bound by precedent that said when, when I rule that something like this is invalid, it has to be nationwide. So that's the background. Who does it affect? It affects anyone that does not live in the 18 states that have their own state moratoriums. This is simply about the federal authority, has nothing to do with the state authority, which is an entirely different question. And there are 18 states plus the District of Columbia, and they include some big states, California, Illinois, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. Right. So it doesn't affect people in those states. Now, you asked about a stay. Uh, I just talked to somebody at Justice. They say that they're considering their next steps. That would be something that they they would they could do is to seek to have this judge's order stay to stop its legal effect while they consider an appeal. If I had to strictly guess, I would guess that that's something that they would probably do, given all the right. equities that you just talked about, how many people this affects. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.